Today on the Our Ambassador series, we're here with Tim George, Australia's Ambassador to Mexico. Welcome, Tim. Thanks for your time. Well, thanks very much, Bruce. It's a real pleasure to be here. Perhaps you could start today, Tim, by telling us why is Mexico important to Australia? Yeah, Mexico, I think, is a, is a country which is uh, very much on an upwards trajectory. It's a country that's overall doing very well in the world. You know, it's already an emerging economy of some size, maybe 14th in the world, but um, clearly it'll be in the top 10 within a few years. And if its economic reforms are implemented, it could well go much higher than that. So it's a very important country globally, both in terms of its economic weight, but also its political weight. It's got a long tradition of being a very responsible and active player internationally, and it's a country with which we need to engage very closely. In addition to that, um, we have quite significant bilateral interests there, and uh, I think there's a lot of potential too in areas like trade, investment and education, things where we can uh, really develop that relationship. Third thing I'd mention is that uh, Mexico currently is undergoing a very significant reform program. Um, you know, there are a number of well-known challenges internally in the country, but the, the new government of President Peña Nieto uh, has the backing of other parties to implement a very substantial number of reforms in areas like, um, you know, like the labour market, um, education, uh, telecommunications, financial reforms, and, uh, and in some other areas as well, including security. So it's at a good point. As I say, it's a country very much going up in the world, and it makes sense for us to be closely engaged with it. So is Mexico a significant trade and investment partner for Australia? It's a... Um, it's not at the very top of our trade and investment relations, but it's grown a lot in recent years, and I think there's enormous potential for it to grow even, f even further. It's, um, it's our largest trading partner in Latin America, with two-way trade around the $3 million mark. Investment there, Australian investment has increased about 14-fold in the last five years, and so we have a number of significant uh, Australian companies and players there in Mexico, like Macquarie, Lend-Lease, Boral and some others. And um, it's an area where we see a lot of potential in areas where Australia has strong expertise, such as mining, education, water management, infrastructure and so on. The other thing I should say about um, trade and investment potential is that while Australia currently does not have a free trade agreement with Mexico, we are in the same group of negotiations under the Trans-Pacific Partnership as Mexico, and when that is concluded, that will um, make it a more level playing field for Australian exporters to Mexico, and will create uh, many more opportunities in a whole range of sectors. So overall, I'd say the outlook is very bright. You mentioned education. How is the education relationship? The education relationship is something uh, which has grown quite a bit in recent years, but again, I think there's a lot more that can be done in this area. Uh, currently, there are about 1,500 Mexican students studying at various universities and other institutions uh, in Australia. That's a lot more than a few years ago, and I'm very impressed uh, uh, by the fact that as I travel around Mexico, I'm meeting a lot of people now who have either studied in, Mex in Australia or have um, you know, kids and other family members who have as well. So that's, that's becoming a very, very good bond. I think too that um, while there are already some quite good institutional links between universities in the two countries and some other institutions, we could do more there as well. There's some very fine education institutions in Mexico and those links would make good sense. Uh, and thirdly, I think that in certain niche areas where Australia has particular expertise, I think we would be able to deliver more by way of training in Mexico in areas such as um, sustainability and mining, water management and so on. And that's something that uh, Austrade is looking at very closely and, and we're supporting those efforts. So you've touched there on the many positives in the relationship. What would you say is the main challenge in the bilateral relationship? It's a relationship that's uh, very good. It's a relationship without problems, but I think there is one major challenge and that is uh, just to up the levels of mutual knowledge and understanding of each other. I think for reasons of history and geographic distance, um, Mexico, for example, is not well known by a number of Australians, uh, some in the business community, some in the broader community, and the same applies in the other direction. They're 
of course, the, at the government level and of those Australians who've done business or travelled to Mexico, the knowledge is good, no problem there. But I think there are many others who uh, would probably be quite uh, surprised and interested uh, to learn more about Mexico. And uh, if you look at the economic side, for example, um, the, the fact that Mexico is such a substantial exporter of um, industrial goods and you know, manufactured products and so on, I mean, since Mexico joined NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, 20 years ago, just have a look at its trade with the US, for example, it's, it's $1.5 billion, uh, not per year, but per day. So it's, it's, it's a huge trade. Um, Mexico is now the fourth largest exporter of cars in the world. It's the largest exporter of flat screen TVs, um, a very large percentage of things like refrigerators and so on sold in the United States. Are made in Mexico. So I think these are things which uh, Australians need to know and understand and see where in that supply chain uh, we can play a role. I think other facts such as um, you know, 23 million people a year visit Mexico as tourists, this is probably not well known in Australia as well. And from the other end, Mexicans I think have a positive view of Australia, but not necessarily the, the sort of the detailed knowledge and understanding of our size, our role in the world and in the Asia Pacific and all of our strengths and capabilities. And so in what areas do Australia and Mexico cooperate internationally? Well, we quite a, a large range of areas and in some respects we are natural partners. Uh, given Mexico's size, where it's heading globally and the very responsible role it has played in a range of areas. One organisation I'd particularly highlight is the G20, where um, both you know, Mexico and Australia share very common interests, we work very closely together and we have a strong stake in the, in the success of that very important organisation. Now, last year Mexico was the president of the G20 and hosted the series of meetings uh, for that 12 months. Australia of course will be the, the host country next year, the president. And so we are working very closely still in the Troika, the three countries uh, that are relevant at the present time. So it's Mexico, Russia, the current host, and Australia. But beyond that we will continue to work very closely in this important organisation. The the range of other organisations, of course the United Nations and UN uh, Security Council issues as well where we keep in close contact. But I would also mention um, some bodies which are relevant to the Asia Pacific region. Because Pacific, you know, Mexico is a, is a country with a long Pacific coast. It's had quite a long engagement in organisations like APEC for example. And currently in the trade sphere and we, sh we share some very common interests in the trade policy and open trade with Mexico. We're very like-minded on a lot of those issues. We're part of the Trans-Pacific Partnership negotiations. Um, Mexico is an important member of the four-country Pacific Alliance which is something that's going ahead at, great, at a great rate. Australia is an observer to that organisation and so on. And we see under President Peña Nieto that the Mexican government is wishing to become even more closely engaged with the Asia Pacific region. Uh, we've, just, we've seen a successful visit to Mexico just two weeks ago by the President of China for example. So I think that the Asia Pacific uh, and those issues is another area where Australia and Mexico can share experiences and engage very closely. Now add to some of those, to those areas um, issues like disarmament and arms control, uh, environment, the fight against transnational crime and so on. Uh, these are all areas where Australia has cooperated closely, uh, worked closely with Mexico and will continue to do so. And for all those Australians who are visiting Mexico as tourists, what advice would you have for them? Well firstly, the, uh, as I mentioned, the, the number of Australian visitors to Mexico has grown very substantially each year in the last five years or more. Uh, and Australians uh, have a fantastic time when they do visit Mexico. I think it's important for all travellers to of course read the, the DFAT travel advice carefully and there there's quite a bit of detailed information about what to do and what not to do including places which uh, may be higher risk than others and, but how to conduct yourself generally. I think it's all there uh, and secondly I would very much encourage all Australian travels to, travellers to register on the, on the DFAT website which means we can contact them very quickly if need be but um, they have a great time when they visit Mexico. And how's the Spanish coming along? Uh, um, 
I'm happy to say that Spanish as spoken in, uh, in Mexico is a relatively clear form of it and it's, uh, so yes, it's, it's been great to be able to uh, use my Spanish again in Mexico and uh, it, it is important to be able to work in Spanish in, in that country but um, it's got a tremendous uh, richness too in literature and history and that's all an important part of it. So anything you'd like to say in closing to our, our Mexican friends then? Uh, yo quisiera decir a todos mis amigos mexicanos que para mí es un gran honor y placer ser embajador de Australia en su país. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for your time. That was Tim George, Australia's ambassador to Mexico.